Hey everyone, this is Lucky70x, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. In the last episode, we started the Temple of the Ocean King once again. Also, we got the Platinum and Beetle, and it was kind of hilarious. But, uh, we're here pretty much at the halfway point of the Temple of the Ocean King, and we're about to make some new progress into unexplored territory. Uh, it took us 2 minutes and 47 seconds, we have 13.13 left on the clock. Hopefully, that doesn't spell some unlucky times ahead, but for now, we're going to use Celia's power to open the door of courage and uh, the next section of the temple awaits us very exciting stuff so what do we have in this new section well a new mechanic that we're going to explore in basement seven hey this one should be lucky for me right also watch out for arrows your shield will block them if you're facing, if you're facing the right direction otherwise you can see that there's pretty much nothing over on this side so get over here and you can hear yourself making a noise um, the floor makes a sound when you run on it. If you run, it'll be loud enough for the phantoms to hear you. If you walk, it'll be quiet enough the phantoms won't notice a thing. So when you walk, it's safe. When you run, it's not safe. And when you're running, you can tell because you'll have symbols on the top screen there that you can see. So, basically only run when it's safe. Otherwise, you know, if you run, the phantoms will notice, as you can see there. And, uh, luckily he didn't spot us, but they will notice. So, that's a thing. So, avoid the phantom. Actually, there's nothing, there's not anything, like, over, like, hi, Mr. Guy, you're, you're a guy. Cool story. There's nothing over here worthwhile. Nope, just a pot. Okay. That's cool. Just making sure, double checking. There's a lot of treasures you can get in this area, so I'm going to double, I want to make sure that uh, I don't miss any. So, smack the phantoms to get them out of the way, and uh, you can go ahead and run around, explore, and see what else you can find. Go throw, go, going to throw a pot there so I can have a safe zone here. Get off me, phantom. Thank you. Uh, that phantom over oh, there. Well, that just happened. No idea how what would just happen there, but uh, basically there's there's pedestals with the crystals that we've seen a few times before. We're gonna have to deal with them again. But um, so the pedestals over there. But where's the crystal? Very good question. We'll actually, uh, oh, he found us running away. So the puzzle's over here. Where's the crystal? We're gonna have to find that out, but, uh, the answer to where to go from here is a bit more, uh, interesting than you would think. Head over here and talk to this guy. He doesn't believe that phantoms walk on air, so, uh, that's the clue. The answer is watch the red phantom. As you can see, he's walking across the pit. Is there anything here? Doesn't look like it. Oh, he may have just spotted us. Okay, hi, Mr. Oh, I am in so much trouble. I am in so much trouble. I am in so much trouble. Well, and that's how you easily lose 30 seconds of your life. Uh, I was going to draw on the map. So as you can see, there's a zone over here where you can actually cross across the map instead. Oops, I may have alerted the phantoms. But luckily, he did notice us. So you can actually cross across this gap and uh, make it on the right side here where more important things await us. So... There's a lot we can do here. Let's. I'm gonna quickly go ahead and see if there's anything on this end that's uh, worth getting. I kind of forget, but yeah, an invisible floor. But then you got trapped in a pit because this one's actually a booby trap. So watch out. For, actually, if you fall down here, nothing happens. Or you just take damage. Yeah. Okay. Cool story. So is it gonna be possible for me to get a hit? And there we go. Oh, that was cool. Oh, that was good. Um. So while we're here, I'm gonna take the time to open to bomb this area here and just uh, show that we also need to find ourselves a triangle area as well so interesting also there's an area over here that we can go but there's nothing worthwhile here yeah the way phantom i don't like you i love the fact we can smack up around though that's great but anyway head over here and there's actually one other thing we can do we can walk across this thing oh but that's for a reward that we don't actually have access to yet okay there's a treasure that'll spawn there at some point so i forget exactly when we spawn that treasure now hmm well, we'll figure that out later. For now, we're gonna go upstairs and see what's going on there. So, oops, I accidentally spoiled the fact that you can walk on that, but a treasure will actually spawn there at some point. So, well, let's be careful for now and head over this way. There's a, some fire here blocking this switch, so we have to be careful about this. Um, basically, this is gonna tell us how you can hit phantoms from behind, so we need to get rid of that blue phantom blocking the way there. And also, make sure we don't uh, get caught by that guy. That would also be helpful. Get out of here. Alright, wait for the blue one to look away. Sneak up behind him. Smack him. Hit the switch. Unlock the flames. Go from there. It is time though, so you gotta be quick. Uh, I gotta just leave myself a safe zone there if I ever need it. Oh, crap. 
Come back. Come back. Come back. Didn't come back in time. Not very helpful. Switch. You, you kind of kind of screwed me over there. I don't appreciate it. All right, that phantom is looking towards us right now. We're going to wait for him to look away. Run back over here. Smack him. Smack the switch. Hopefully have a timeout way better this time. Welcome to the Red Phantom is not in the way, so we should be able to run and make it. Oh, just in time. So while we're on this side, we can now uh, keep over here and grab some of the, the rewards and treasures that we need to get. Also, we can get ourselves an extra 30 seconds, which will be handy. But we'll get ourselves the round crystal, so we know where the round switch is. It's over uh, on the floor below us. So now we just have to take it back there successfully, and we can start to pull the pieces together here in this puzzle of sorts. Um, also, there is, I believe, a thing we can shoot. It's, yeah, we can shoot that crystal over there. So, uh, hop on this thing. You can actually hop on these poles. It'll give you the leverage to hit this crystal and get ourselves a treasure chest, which is timed. So, let's hustle and make sure we can get there in time, and we can, and we get a, another power gem. So, now up to 12 power gems. You get a lot of power gems early on in the game. Luckily for us, I think we should be able to get another wisdom gem and courage gem by the time we get here. So, uh... The skeleton kind of gives you an interesting hint here. You can't actually find the key, and it gives you a hint that you bring it down from the floor above. Remember how there's a floor that once we get the proper items we can skip? We can grab the key from that floor and actually use it on this door as a shortcut later on. So, uh, interesting how that works. But we can't unfortunately do that because we, we don't have the ability to get the key like that. So, don't notice me. Thank you. By the way, when you're holding these things or any of the force gems or anything, you fa oh, A, you're automatically walking so you won't alert these floors, but B, the more important thing is you will not be able to outrun the swift phantoms. You will be too slow to outrun them. You'll have to drop your crystal, and more than likely they will then grab the crystal. So do not get spotted by a swift phantom while you're holding onto these things. You will not be having a good time. I actually wanted to go this way. Also, you can see that the, the next item is going to help us out immensely with this puzzle for obvious reasons. So cross the gap here. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Come on. Get into the safe zone. Like I said, you can't outrun them, but if you're near enough to a safe zone, you can kind of make things work out in your favor anyway. You know what? Let's follow the phantoms instead. Probably will be a better strategy, so... Follow the bad guys. Follow the bad guys. And make a run for it. Bye! So you can put the, the crystal in there. It'll allow us access to the spikes here. And we can now keep going. So we uh, have a way to get downstairs. We also can get this wind here going. This wind will be actually pretty important later on, but for now, uh, we're okay. So, we come down to the floor here, um, we get a little hint that this is the last floor, so that's nice. Unfortunately, we can't get very far on this floor. All we get is a treasure chest containing the triangle crystal, so we now can take this back to the other side again and go from there. Something to note, though, is that there's a square pedestal over here as well, so we have three different crystals to deal with here, and there is actually a reason why these three crystals exist. Um, we're going to have to to be kind of clever here with how we're doing things. I got spotted. Luckily for us, we actually have a decently easy way to escape the phantoms by flying up here at accident. That, that crystal just defied the laws of everything. Okay. Well, that's a thing. Boom! Gotcha! Bye! So let's take the crystal over here, because as you remember, the uh, switch is actually just north of here, so... As long as we can avoid the phantom nearby, we should be okay. And actually, I can easily avoid the phantom if I throw a... Th no, 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 no! Oh, you try to be sneaky, but you failed! So in case you're wondering, they will actually take the crystals if you put them in front of them. So make sure the crystals are in the safe zone as well if you don't want them to steal them. Because that will be weird and awkward, and no one wants that. So you take the triangle crystal here, you lower the switch down there, and spawn that treasure. There we go, that's how you spawn that treasure. I knew there was a way somehow, and that is in fact the way. And that will be a Courage Gem, so we now have uh, another new Courage Gem. And we should be able to get one more gem, I believe, before this is over, so... Head over here, and I think I may have alerted the enemy. This might be a bad situation, but this will open the door over here. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap! I am safe! Safe. Ha! You fool. Take the crystal here, by the way. You're gonna want to be bringing the crystals downstairs. Um, gonna preemptively like tell you that now, that we're gonna be wanting these crystals. So bring it down here. Um, and hey, guy. So he gives you a hint that uh, there's a certain new enemy here, not phantoms, but something else that can steal the sand in the hourglass. So 
Uh, in fact, if you look on the screen, there's some skulls here. And if you turn away from the skulls, they will try to follow you. And if they hit you, they'll take 15 seconds from your clock. So, in other words, don't let that happen. Instead, you're going to want to fight them. So, let them come to you. And turn around, smack them. You'll actually get 30 seconds as a reward for this. So, instead of getting treasures now, you'll get uh, these things. And you'll, instead of getting a... Uh, yellow crystal things to get the time you'll have to actually have to fight these enemies instead. So be careful when one's stalking you. We'll go ahead and uh, we're gonna drop this crystal off because as you can see we need all three crystals here to get through this door. That's why I brought this one down here with me just to save a little bit of time. Um, you're essentially going to need to have all three of these crystals. So one, two, three to get through to the next area. Place the first one in here. I know you're here Mr. Guy. Where are you? Where are you? There you are! I see you. You can't fool me. So extra 30 seconds on the clock. The other two are definitely still heading towards me. Also, if you get spotted by the phantom on this floor, you will be uh, caught here. So get into safety. And this is actually convenient because if you've noticed, the phantom actually has another one of the crystals in it as well, which is nice. You are... No! Dad! My time! My time! Stop. Stop. Das rude! So bring the score crystal over here. You're gonna want it over here because it'll actually give us an easy way to bring the circle crystal down here as well. And uh, first of all, let's kill these annoying guys because they're annoying and I don't want to deal with you. Get out, I want my time back. Um, grab one of these as well just for safety if you need it. Uh, so this should be the last one. I know you're right here. There we go, actually spin attack would be very handy as well but if you kill all of them, you'll get a big treasure to appear. I think this is gonna have the wisdom gem I'm looking for. There's a phantom nearby, okay. Oh, let's, oh, we want to walk. Shoot. I ran. Instead of walked, it backfired. Get out of here. So as you can see, you want to walk in these areas so you're not learning the phantoms. But in the end, it doesn't really matter that much. So let's quickly see if we can get this to work out in my favor here. Wait for the eye to open. Shoot the eye. And this will uh, actually allow us to hopefully, if we're lucky here, I think this is, yep, this is a trap for the phantom. So hopefully the phantom will, uh, uh, see if we can't alert the phantom and trick him to come in over here. Oh, well, we could do that instead. Oh man, let's use a, let's see if we can trick tr oh wait, 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 we can trick him. Okay, you know what? I don't care about killing the phantom. Actually, I don't know. I'm curious if something will happen if we kill the phantom. Let's see if we can't get him to fall down this pit here. So it opens up here. I'm actually really curious about this now. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we can get the Phantom to die. Come on, Mr. Mr. Phantom. Don't you hear the noise? Phantom, I, there's it's a trick here. There's a trap. Just for you. Get in the trap. There we go. He fell in the trap. They actually did spawn treasure, so I didn't actually realize there was another treasure here that I missed the first time because I didn't try to kill the Phantom. And we got ourselves a new cabin! Okay, that's that's a thing. I, uh, what set is that from anyway? I'm kind of curious now. Um, that set is going to be from the... Oh, is that the tropical set then? Correct? Uh, no, that's from the whatever that second set is. The artsy set, I guess? Hmm, interesting. Anyway, let's go ahead and get ourselves the rest of the... Uh, oh, there's the treasure here still. I should probably remember that as well. That's the wisdom gem we're looking for. And if we go on the collection screen and check that out now, uh, we actually see that, that we now have 10 Wisdom Gems. So once we're done with this area, believe me, we're taking a trip to uh, Spirit Island and also getting that treasure map that we got last time as well. So we have some things to take care of uh, soon. But without any phantoms or any enemies, we now have a fairly easy task ahead of us. We need to get all three crystals down here. So what we need to do is take this, is wait for this guy to go by first. Smack him. Grab the circle crystal, wait for this phantom to kind of mosey on along. There we go. Smack him too. Uh, and then we can use this to jump up here. And from there, we can go ahead and get downstairs with the circle crystal. Get through this gate here and all we need to do is put these last uh, crystals in here. And we will thus be successful in our endeavors. So. Put the triangle one in as well, and we'll want to put the square one in, and we will be done with this Temple of the Ocean King for now, with a good seven minutes left on the clock too, so 
we made some pretty damn good time there, if I say so myself. Uh, definitely would have time to keep continue going. In fact, if you actually do things properly, you can keep going for a little bit in the Temple of the Ocean King. Not very far, because you're going to need the next, ne the next dungeon item to succeed anyway. But for what we could still make a decent amount of progress if we so chose. Um, in fact, this guy will actually tell us exactly how to do that. So uh, if you talk to him, if you set the crystals in the order, in a specific order, which is square, circle, triangle, you will uh, allow to be allowed to head down a floor, essentially. So we can continue to make progress if we so choose. For now, though, we got ourselves the southeastern sea chart. And that will open up a whole new map full of new islands and new excitement for us to explore. And uh, a couple new, and a new uh, dungeon as well, potentially. So, not too shabby. We can explore more of the sea. Well, we're gonna, however, do we have enough time to explore further into the into the area? That's the big question. Um, I, will, I will demonstrate that uh, if you do uh, do the, the correct order here, which is square, circle, triangle, and then head back in. Something will, in fact, happen. I'm not going to go leave now, though, because it, it introduces a new type of phantom and new mechanics that we really won't be able to really explore anyway. So, while we can use this in order to continue further, if we so chose, we could now leave and then, you know, take on a new whole new section of the temple. Um, we now are basically on the next floor. Not going to actually deal with it now, um, just for the simple reason that we can't do much in there anyway. There's no worthwhile treasures that need to be gotten right now, and it makes more sense to do that later, as far as I'm aware. So, we now have the next sea chart, guys. What we're going to do next is head to the Spirit Island and take care of that, as well as get that one treasure map that we uh, found while in the temple, and then we'll have everything taken care of in order to explore the entire new chart in the next episode. But uh, we will have an upgrade first before that happens, which would be kind of nice. So, uh, we know that fire gives us a power sword. What does wisdom give us? Let's go find that out. And also see if there's see if there's any more mail, because sure have a lot of mail. Actually, you know what? Do we have? Actually, do, actually no. We don't want the new cabin because we want the stone set. So no, we don't want to do that. Well, no new mail at least. Do you, do you have anything interesting? Yeah, we're yeah, cool lady. All right, what's up, Linebeck? We found the next seed chart. Somewhere in these islands are the pure metals. We'll find that out next time, guys, though, because uh, we're not going to do that now. For now, we have a new mission, and that mission is to go to Spirit Island and see what we can get there, and then we will end off with the treasure map and uh, do that as well. Seems like a fairly viable plan to me. Also, there's a fish nearby, and you know me, I can't resist a good fish, actually. We're going to... there. That seems much better. Also, we totally interrupted Linebeck's phrase, and that was kind of cool. Let's just see if we can't get ourselves a good catch, because we do have a little bit of extra time here. Oh no, it's a hazard. Oops, I kind of goofed on the hazard. All right, so that was a that was a waste of time. Let's go ahead and do this. And while we're there, we can actually stop by Mr. Boat Guy and get ourselves extra treasures, just in case we don't need the extra rupees. Like I said, we want to get golden parts from Beetle eventually, if he ever drops any, so... That is the plan, but first Spirit Island it seems like the better plan. And then, like I said, the uh, the treasure that we're looking for, the treasure map thing, is up in the uh, northwestern quadrant, so we will deal with that. Hello, Mr. Enemy. I don't like you. You're dead. I do have a fancy new cannon, though. I like this cannon. This is a legit cannon. I have a very... It's a very stone ship now. It's... We're, we're making some progress. I, I kind of want the demon... I want, I'm getting new, like, a new thing here. I don't want the demon ship, necessarily, but... So far, the stone set's actually kind of cool. It's uh, interesting, and that's kind of the set we've gotten the most of so far. You know what? You're, like, right here. We'll stop at you first. You're, like, literally right next to us. It kind of makes more sense to just go here now and not to backtrack. So, hello, Mr. Traveler. We're going to come kill some enemies and get more treasure from you. Because that's a thing you should do periodically to, uh... And plus, it's pretty easy when you have a fire sword. So, all we need to do is just the usual of, Hi, you are a guy. Oh man, I hit you. Oh man, you're dead. And we can kill this guy, and kill this guy, and thus save the world! Oh, there's actually something else I could do now that I'm thinking about in this episode that I completely forgot about. Okay, well there's one more thing we could do then. Cool. Um, so... He's giving me a treasures, so we'll go ahead and get all the treasures from him. Oh man! 
got ourselves some useless armor. Oh man, got ourselves more useless armor. Oh man, got ourselves even more useless. What? Seriously, guy? Is this gonna be a fourth one? No. Okay. Well, it's still just as useless. What else do you got? Oh, okay. You got two of those too. Maybe three. Can we go for three? No, we got a fourth Goron Amber instead. Oh, we got one more, more things. Oh, we got another crown. It's crown versus Ambers. Who's gonna win? It's a pearl. Actually, that's a good one then. Um, so we got 800 in the end there. That was actually kind of worth our time. So that was still really funny though. I like this guy. We'll rescue him some more throughout the game. Just anytime we're near Spirit Island, I see no reason not to go rescue his sorry little sad state of affairs. So uh, let's head to Spirit Island and turn in our gems, get ourselves a new reward. We still have those uh, compliment cards that turn into Beetle as well at some point, but he's kind of way up there, so we'll probably do it at the start of the next episode, because I don't feel like trying to hunt him down when he's nowhere near me, and generally he's near you when you start the game, or I can just do it off screen and keep him for the next one, so we're not going to bother with that right now. We're just going to head to Spirit Island, and oh man, there's enemies here, it's kind of a thing, but we have more important things to deal with. We head over here, and it's time to turn in our new gems. Uh, if, by the way, if you try to do power if the, if the, um, once you've upgraded it, it'll basically mention that you have 12 fire gems, you can 8 more gems before you can uh, increase it again. So we can get like a super fire sword, which is exciting. But for now, we're gonna get the wisdom one. And uh, if power increases our power, wisdom increases uh, something else instead. So we get the spirit of wisdom, and we can now power that up. We actually now have a choice between our spirits. Um, which will be a very strategic choice, depending on the situation. Like, as you can see, the power one is extremely helpful during the Temple of Yoshi King. This one's going to be more helpful overall, though, because it protects you, and uh, basically you have a, a much stronger shield, and you take much less damage um, from enemies. So, you can go to our collection screen and attach the Spirit of Wisdom instead. And we now have a blue spirit following us, and uh, our shield is basically... As you can see, our hearts are basically buffed. Uh, we'll take a lot less damage from enemies, as you can see. If, and also, our shield now will stun enemies if, if they run into it, so we now have a, basically a stun. But uh, if we take damage from enemies somehow, if I can actually like, force myself to take damage here. There we go. As you can see, it's only a quarter of a heart now instead of half of a heart. So, very exciting. Um, we now have the ability to take half damage and have a shield that can stun enemies. I really like the Wisdom one. It makes the game even easier. Huzzah! But, uh, for now what we're going to do is we're going to head up to the northwest quadrant here and, uh, get this treasure map. And also, one other little new thing that happens uh, that we can actually take care of as well, which should happen on the way to this treasure map, uh, if we play our cards right here, is we should be able to get a special reward because, see these pirate ships out there? They're now a bit more, uh scary there's a big one now instead of just the two small ones and the big one can do something really interesting if you uh, allow it to do so so you can see it's much faster it's gonna be trying to attack us a lot more so we're gonna allow the ship to we're not gonna attack the ship for a while we're gonna kind of just sit here let the ship have its way with with us for a bit I don't want to hit the ship no and if you do that it'll uh, then turn and ambush you just like Jolene does uh, so now uh, once again he's hiding here we've been bored we have to go ahead and kill the enemies that are spawning, which is fairly easy. You just kind of have to camp out here at the entrance and kill them instantly. And then Linebeck's like, yeah, you did that. But the first time you do that, you actually get yourself a Courage Gem for doing so. So we now have an extra Courage Gem. So look at that. We've made some good gem progress in this episode. So get ambushed once. It's actually kind of worth your time. And uh, actually, we're right at the where we need to be here. So let's go ahead and just salvage. Because we're pretty much literally right where we need to go here. So, um, so yeah, let's see what treasure awaits us at the bottom of the ocean. Uh, will it be another ship part? Will it be another golden ship part? Will it be some more sand? Will it just be something boring? Who knows? Will it be Princess Tetra? Well, she's, I guess, it's either Princess Zelda or Tetra. I guess it's not really both, but let's make sure we just don't break our ship in the process, or our, our salvage on the process, though, because I don't want to really be buying more salvage army stuff so let's go ahead and just make sure we avoid all the mines as you can see it's getting more and more difficult here as we go uh, but we can easily be successful here grab the treasure chest and then we have to of course make our way back up which is easier said than done but as long as we are careful we should be able to do it without taking damage here 
get around all these tight little nooks and crannies. Uh, grab some rupees along the way if you're uh, fortunate enough. Watch out because there's going to be one coming straight down here. And, ooh, barely dodged that one. And then we should, I believe, from our place, just dodging one of these stationary ones. If we hold on this right side, we should be able to get a few more rupees as well. And kind of clean up a little bit, which would be nice. But uh, Actually, no, there's one, apparently one on the left here that we need to get. Oh, well, I think there's some more over here. No, no, nope, we're okay, we're done. Never mind. So we got some decent rupees, didn't take any damage. And we got ourselves a treasure. And that treasure is going to be... Drum roll, please. Well, no drum roll, actually. It's just kind of lengthy. Waste of time, waiting. And we got some more sand of hours, so we're now up to 17 minutes in there. But that being said, by the time we go back to the Temple of the Ocean King, we will actually have a new treasure to get us through there even faster. Someone's attacking us. No, you stop. I killed your big ship. Uh, you're, no, you, you get out. You, you get out. All right, let's just uh, use the sleigh here to get us back to Mersey Island, and we will save from there. And in the next episode, the Southeast Sea Chart is a thing now. We're going to head down there. We're going to grab it. Or we're going to explore the islands there. We're going to see what new crazy rewards we can do. That fish is, like, literally right here. You know what? One more fish before we end this episode, and then we'll, we'll go. Unless this is nothing, in which case I'm ending the episode now. This is Lucky70X signing out. See y'all in the next episode, unless this happens to be an actual fish that I need. Goodbye! It seems like I can't... That's just a lube bar. Okay, don't care. So, yep. That's all she wrote. Bye, everyone. Miss!